What's going on gamers? Today we are going to be going over how to install Cave Block and how to play. Before we get started, don't forget to like, subscribe, and click that notification bell to stay up to date on all future videos. As you play Minecraft and start to learn more about the game, obviously mining is a massive part of the experience in order to find the necessary ores to build and advance your collection of tools and weapons. But if you're interested in playing Minecraft in a different way, like trying to survive completely underground for example, then Cave Block is a perfect game type for you to try. Apex has created this server version that places you in a cave with minimal starting items. From there, you can start to carve out your cave to find various ores, mob spawners, and more. Let's go over how to install Cave Block and how to get started. As always, when you're installing a preset game type, we highly recommend a full server reset before you start. This will remove all files and prevent any conflicts that may cause crashes. Head into your Apex server panel and then stop the server, remembering to back up any files into your FTP access if needed. Find and select Reset Server Files in the left menu, check the box to reset all of your files, and then enter the word Reset to confirm the removal. While still on the main panel page, make sure that your server is still offline and then scroll down to the Game File section and open the drop down menu. Find and select Cave Block from the list, and when asked, choose to change the version and use the included world. Afterwards, restart the server to load up the Cave Block game type. When you first join the server, you will spawn into the underground lobby. Here you will find different holograms providing details on commands and gameplay. To the side of the main lobby, you will see the server shop. From rare blocks to stronger armor, almost anything can be purchased here. When you think you're ready to start your cave block adventure, use the forward slash cave command and choose to start a default cave or a miner's cave. In the default cave, you will start in an enclosed box with a chest, a tree, and a cow. This setup will be familiar for Skyblock players. With the miner's cave, you will spawn into a mineshaft-like area with water, lava, and other blocks placed around the small space. Using the default cave as an example, you will only have access to a tree, a chest of items, and one single cow. Regardless of the cave that you chose, break down the wood and create a wooden pickaxe. Make sure you replant any of the saplings you get, and then you can start to dig out of the cave. Using the stone you collect, you can start by creating a furnace as well as crafting stone tools. Once you have your tools created, it's time to think about creating a cobblestone generator and an infinite water source. With this game type, the generator has the chance of creating different blocks, such as andesite and even gravel. Remember that a cobblestone generator is created when flowing water moves into static lava. There are many different ways to make this, however, this diagram is one of the easiest. Now that you have a decent amount of cobblestone, you can choose to return back to the lobby by using the forward slash spawn command to visit the shop once again. Now you can sell the blocks from your inventory in order to gain in-game currency, which is used in the server shop. Using this, you can purchase other blocks, including iron ore or even diamonds to upgrade your tools. Here are some notable player and admin commands, which will also be available on our blog post of the same name. And that is how you install the cave block game type and how you get started. As you continue to dig out of your cave, remember that you might want to plant the seeds, sugarcane, and cactus to create farms for each item. Using the items you buy from the shop, you can expand your base to create more farms, place more saplings, and decorate to your liking. As you advance further and further, you will start to find so much more hidden content. With so much to explore, only your dedication will limit what you can achieve in Cave Block. That's all for this one, gamers. 
As always, I hope you have lots of fun. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more great content like this, then subscribe or click these videos. Until next time, gamers.